Hi, I'm Matthew. Welcome to my channel. And today, it's Will It Shave Wednesday. Real quick, I'm going to wet my face. Oh, yeah. Well, you know it. I know it. The American people know it. We're going to do it shave where I try something new and today's something new is kind of a revisit of a video that I did before but I noticed at my local Dollar Tree they have this new razor that replaces the twist to open razor and that's what I'm going to be shaving with today so I have that out of the package and <clears throat> I will say one thing that I noticed is the razor now, or the razor blade now comes in a gray package and it's still double wrapped. The old one in the twist to open was a yellow and here's the razor. I do have the blade already loaded up. And today's soap is going to be by 345 Soap Company and it is Fuzzy Face. Now, I do believe this is a new release. And this has a nice warm scent to it. There's what the pour looks like. I will put a picture right here with the scent description because my nose is picking up probably something different than your nose. And let's see. Oh, yes, I have that whipped up already in my Captain's Choice Copper Bowl. I used a quarter of a teaspoon and 12 milliliters of water so let's go ahead and get lathered up here no pre-shave for today and i am using my polar shave brush with the synthetic knot and this knot is very soft it doesn't have a whole lot of backbone so i'm not going to do a whole lot of splaying i have two days worth of growth and on my last video, I was so excited to uh, knock out a video and I had a bunch of other stuff going on, I forgot to do my birthday shave. So you may see, should I wait until Sunday to do a belated birthday shave or should I do another shave between now and then? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and warm up the razor and let's get our shave going. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm really nervous about this razor. Uh, a little bit more on the blade I'm not sure about. The blade with it is not super smooth. Mm -mm. Not smooth at all. Matter of fact, I'm going to swap that blade out. The one thing I was going to mention that there is some uh, blade overhang, so be careful with that. I, now I have the Gillette 365 blade in there, and let's see if that, oh yeah, that's a whole lot better. It's amazing what that little blade can do. And I noticed right away that if you happen to ride the cap a little more, it becomes smoother. Seems like there's quite a bit of uh, blade exposure on it. You know what I find kind of uh, shocking about that is they want you to purchase a new razor every time. And I don't know why they don't carry the blades 
and maybe it's because the blades aren't really that great, but um, for a dollar twenty-five to get five blades and a razor is uh, pretty economical, in my opinion. I don't even know how they can sell it that cheap. I mean, the whoever manufactures it has to sell it to a middleman, a warehouse or something, and then that person turns around and sells it to the Dollar Tree. And I just can't imagine making pennies on the dollar on a product. All right, let's go ahead and go across the grain. Evidently, they must be okay with it or they would not be doing it. I do have a similar razor uh, to this one, and I had bought it off of uh, AliExpress. And it had came with the, uh, I think it was the Gillette Super Blue. Almost felt like I got myself there. I'm getting in a bad habit at looking at that mirror over there. Wow, the scent on that is very nice. Plenty of residual slickness. That uh, razor is nice and smooth. I'm going to get cleaned up and I will be right back. So I just finished up with the cold water rinse. And I'm going to go ahead and use the ice cube as my final, well, it's not really my final post shave routine. But it's part of it. And I'm going to use my pink black sheep Lancaster towel. I'm going to use the matching aftershave splash. And you know what I'm missing in this shave? Some menthol. I do like the restrictors and that aftershave splash. Yep. Well, since I don't have any menthol, I'm going to go ahead and use the Frostbite Star Jelly. And that pump was a lot. <laughs> Before I go, I'm going to go ahead and take out the lather out of the brush and do a little lather demonstration. Let's see what we did today. Oh, yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, that's the shave for the day. And uh, I'll say that it did provide a nice shave with an adequate blade. Uh, one thing that I do need to do that I had talked about before and I had forgot is I need to take one of those blades and put it in the game changer and see how well it performs. And so will it shave a $1.25 Dollar Tree Assured Razor? Yes, it will. And uh, I feel like that actually gave a little bit better than the Twist to Open, but I need to maybe revisit that again just to, uh, just for fun. Well... Uh, let's see, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, I will put a picture right here of everything that I used today. And if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing that now. And I will see you guys on Sunday Shave. You have a great rest of your week.